Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm gonna be playing this game known as Thrill Kill. Yeah, so this game was um, originally made for the PlayStation 1, but it was never released. Um, and the reason it was never released was because of its extremely violent, graphical, and uh, sexual content. And um, of course, that just makes it the kind of game that I just had to go out and find a copy of, which I'm now gonna play. Um, although it was never released, you can download its ISO online, and you can also, <laughs> I don't know if that's legal, <laughs> pretty sure it is though. You can download its ISO online and you can also rip it. Um, but yeah, this game's uh, pretty interesting. It's a fighter game. Um, I have only played about four or five minutes of it before just to make sure not even four or five minutes maybe two or three minutes and that was just to make sure that the controls were working and it's a fighter game which i'm not very good at so you're gonna see me kind of suck for a bit but we'll see how how long we can make it go um it was developed by paradox development um scheduled for publication in october 1998 <laughs> that's actually three years before i was born so this game's older than me believe it or not. And the game was, um, well, the game developers looked at BDSM magazines in order to gain inspiration for this game, just so you can get the kind of idea of what we're about to play right now. Um, I will say it's not a very good game. I didn't quite understand how the combat actually works, but We'll have a look. So you can see there's different characters here and each of them have different skins. So there's this, oops, there's this dude, Tormentor. There's different skins. What does that say? Oddball. Excuse me, there's Oddball. Different skins. This is like a, a Dominatrix character, Belladonna. This, I guess is like a mad scientist, Dr. Faustus. Then there's the Imp. There's Violet. And then there's this suit, whom I actually really wanted to try out because he looked cool. He's like a big monkey. <laughs> um, sorry, my controls are a bit fucked. Mammoth. All right. Let's have a go with this. Let's see how we do. I was just thinking I'll play a few games, see how far we can go. And... Um, yeah. So from what I understand, um, in order to sort of win, you have to fill up your bar and then perform a fatality on someone. Oh, yikes. So yeah, as you can see, that Tormentor who's actually dressed up like a fucking BDSM um, person there. Um, see, as a vegan, right? As a vegan who's completely against what I unapologetically call the animal holocaust. Um, seeing people wearing leather is fucking grim, right? It's, I mean, just the fact that people make things out of animals, but also clothing, like that's just fucking barbaric. Uh-oh, okay, now you see they're really far away from me, so I wanna make sure I can reach them in time. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. <laughs> Did I, did I, did I, what was that? I just smacked them into the fucking roof. You see, I get this little bit of a, a bonus to my meter there. Ow. Alright, this time I'm definitely going to try and take this dude out because he's actually pretty difficult. <laughs> that is an insane... Uh, I wonder if there's like different fatalities you can do because the only one I've been able to do is smacking this dude. Okay, time to fight another supporter of the animal holocaust. This fucking leather wearing like... I don't want to say sexual degenerate because that's just fascist language. But um... 
but yeah. Yikes! <laughs> I think this is the first round I've ever won. <laughs> what? What the fuck? Are they killing me for winning? Oh, okay, I got confused there. See, I thought they were killing me for winning. <laughs> no, they just electrocuted me. Oh, damn, I gived them hard. Man, I really like that chest beat. I was watching this documentary earlier today with chimpanzees and bonobos, and um, I didn't really see them beating their chests. I think that might just be something gorillas do. So I guess we're playing as a gorilla. I don't know, though. I'm not like a primatologist. Um, Oh, okay, so we have this dude who ripped his arm off. We have, um, that guy. And we have Sexy Nurse. You know, the, that well-known, like, uh, the, the four well-known archetypes. Monkey Man. <laughs> um, weird guy who rips off his limbs. I don't even know what I call that person. And Sexy Nurse. Yeah. How? There, I know I wanted to go for the uh, limbs, dude. Yeah, it seems to me there's just one fatality that these uh, characters pull off where they like smack someone into the... Round two, fight! Oh, wow. Yikes! Come on! There we go. Is the fatality that I just smacked them so hard they get stuck to the ceiling and, like, bleed from there? What the hell? All right, it's me versus the dominatrix nurse. Who's gonna win, monkey boy or dominatrix? This is basically like really violent porn, but it's kind of bestiality. This is, you know what this is like? Okay, that's a really dark joke. I don't know if I should make the joke, but you guys hear about that woman who had a pet chimpanzee who just gored her? Oh no, actually no, it's much sadder than that. It didn't gore her. Well, I mean, it's sad either way, right? But it gored her friend actually. Um, which is just sad. Oh! Oh god, okay, this is actually a close one. You see, now this is the part where I get worried, because like... Oh no, okay, I won. You know that part where you win the game and they just electrocute you as a reward for that? Yeah, that's the best part of any game. All right, come on. It's just one giving animation over and over again, this punch. Maybe that's why they canceled this game, it because it wasn't violent enough. It's not because it was too violent. It's because the only, right, the only giving animation they had was that being punched. Well, whatever. Oh yeah, okay, this is the contortionist character. Uh, wow, okay, now this, this part is really fucking, okay, now this, we're in a toilet, this is one weird fucking sex dungeon. Oh god, okay, see now, like. <laughs> right, you gotta be fucking strong if you could kick it, like someone of my size into the air. You see, now, I think they're actually gonna, um...
No, 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 not me. Oh, fuck. See, I was really worried there that I was gonna get, like, decapitated. Yeah, so you see, that's the problem with Thrill Kill, is um, just this kind of thing that happens here, where... Um, if the... Uh, what's it called? If the... Um, if in that phase... Basically, the thing is, you just have to get away from someone when they're in the phase, and that's, like, sort of, like, the... Uh, point of the game, I guess. Um, it's not a very fun me me mechanic. What am I doing? Pan. We'll go with Pan. Yep. So we have Kev, Pan, Kev, Ben, Pan, Pa, Jam. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> right, well, that was just a little bit of this game, Thrill Kill. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, favorite, share, and subscribe. I might make a video or two more of this game. It's an interesting one. See ya.